Thank you, Rosemary, for reading that. That's a kind of a treasure to hear the story read out like that. It was wonderful. Thank you. One of my favorite verses is Philippians 1, 6. <coughs> I am certain that God, who began the good work within me and you, will continue his good work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ returns. I learned the deeper truth of this a few years ago. I was drawn to join a Bible study at Robert and Margaret's house called The Rest of the Gospel. My spiritual life at the time was striving continually with tears for more of the Lord. A deeper, more meaningful walk. I just could not get enough. So the Holy Spirit filled up the word for me. I had to die and not keep trying hard to get more. Lord Jesus had given me his holiness and righteousness on the cross when he died for my sin. Dying to my will, my selfishness, my independence was a whole new problem. I had dozens of well-thought-out arguments about that, but because I'm his workmanship, I eventually got there through lots of prayer for his transformation of my heart. The Lord took me from there to meet more of him. Again through the word, I came upon the statement, I am one with him. It came as a Rima word. What does it mean? Who is he that I am one with him? Looking at him face to face, I realized that what I was seeing in him was rather like a picture, one-dimensional. I needed to see it in greater depth. I started to meditate more on him. A little later, Holy Spirit broke through, telling me that Jesus is the bridegroom and I'm the bride. I responded in surprise and dismay. It was okay for the word to say such a thing, but when it became personal, it was something else. Not believing I was hearing it right, I asked for a sign that this was in fact Jesus who was talking. Instantly, I remembered the story of feeding of the 5,000. That story's always bothered me because after they were fed, the next day, Jesus is talking to them about he's the Messiah, and they said, oh, well, show us a sign. And I thought, are you joking? He just fed 5,000, and you're asking for a sign? And here I was, the Lord saying, he's the bridegroom, and I'm saying, well, show me a sign. And I was convicted. <laughs> I looked back on what Jesus had already done with me. He had taken me from deep darkness through my own healing, forgiven my sins, overcome many of my life's problems, turned my heart to him, and on and on. I did not need a proof of his love for me. Through giving me this real life situation, betrothal, I was able to receive a much larger picture of the hugeness of his love for me, his commitment, his availability, his nearness, his interest in talking over the daily things of life that affected me. I am so glad that I am his and he is mine. Thank you.